My name is Shaniz Jan Muhammad, and I'm an artist, spoken word artist, and poet. And I'm so grateful to be joining you today to share a little bit of my poetry with you as it is National Poetry Month. So I just wanted to share a little bit about what I was planning to do for the Sanctuary series. I was inspired by gardens and the idea of a paradise garden or the charbug, also known as a four-walled garden. And what I wanted to do is recreate this garden using natural materials like flowers, rocks, moss, things that you could find in and around your home, uh, especially in the springtime, and create this garden or the sense of a garden. And at the center of the garden, traditionally, there's a fountain, a water, uh, life itself. And at that center of that garden is where I would be reciting poetry. Uh, so if you'd like to imagine that you are in a garden with perfumed roses and the sound of rain, perhaps, uh, gentle spring rain, or maybe some birds chirping, and at the center of this garden, you hear a voice, and that voice is going to read you some poetry. So I'm going to be reading from my second collection, Fire Smoke, and the poems are of course, inspired by gardens and by spring. Before spring, snowflakes fluttering from the clouds like white blossoms, each dissolves upon touch where impermanence blossoms. A nun kneels down to plant bulbs by the foot of a tree. Cartwheels of prayer skip through the street, pink blossoms. If rain swept itself across the hearts of city dwellers, how many seeds would perish and how many would blossom? Branches frozen, a willow is stunned between frost and sunlight. Weaving words like vines, I offer you this wreath of blossoms. Spring. Your breath in mine, my breath in yours. You have taught me how to breathe again. Inhaling you like the forest inhales sunlight. Gold before darkness descends again. Come to the garden. I have scattered new seeds and torn out the weeds of our past. Your love blooms like gardenia, lilac, and jasmine. Spring has found itself again. I've killed and revived our love as many times as these coal-rimmed eyes have blinked. If we keep our eyes open to the reality of death, will our love survive annihilation again? My beloved's shrine is lit with four lamps. To be the fifth, I set my heart ablaze. These feet stomp into rain and mud. Isra has learned how to dance again. Layla, in this state of madness, I have no one else to blame. I become the fire, the flame, the letters in your name. My hair is tangled and I've lost reason and shame. I become the fire, the flame, the letters in your name. Am I the target of your love? Here's an arrow, take aim. I become the fire, the flame, the letters in your name. Forbidden to see his beloved Layla, Majnoon still came. He became the fire, the flame, the letters in her name. Turning on the heels of this love. Turning around the axis of the earth, 
she spins the wheels of this love. Others sit like stagnant water, questioning the appeal of this love. Even the swimmer will struggle against the waves of the sea, surrender to its rhythm and drown. What more can you feel of this love? Dig the soil and rubble of your being, seek until the madness finds you. This box contains the secret of her secret. Open it, break the seal of this love. She finds Kizer in the forest of her heart, her robes drenched with mud, whirling into leaves and mud. She turns, turns turns on the heels of this love.